Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to install Ohm Assistance on a NASH network attached storage solution. I've got here the Acer Store 6604T. We have reviewed it here on the channel. Also this 2.5 gigabit switch, which is awesome. And I will try to leave some links right over here on the YouTube cards or down below so that you guys can check the reviews that we have done. And I'm testing out the Acer Store 3304, which is this one right away here. So we will see two different approaches in terms of Home Assistant installation, in terms of a network attached storage solution, which for those of you that don't know, imagine this like your own Google Drive, OneDrive or Dropbox, but you have full control of it and you can access from anywhere in the world, which is just beautiful. But besides saving files and things like that, Plex servers and whatnot, we can do a lot more. So just awesome. And if you want more info, just search for NAS on the channel and you'll find a lot of videos that we have done with some great NAS from Acer Store, which once again, I will leave the links down below. I will also leave a link down below for the Comica Boom XD Pro, which is the microphone that I'm using right now with a Sony lapel microphone so that I can test out a few things before my full review. So if you want to check out the audio that I'm recording, there will be a link down below as well. That being said, let's go straight for the tutorial, which is simple, but I want to share a few things right over here. Now we will start by the easiest installation possible of Home Assistant, but which is also a limited installation without supervisor. And that first installation we will be doing on the Acer Store 3304 right over here. So we can see it right over here on the screen, the dashboard that I've got. What I will need to do is to go to the app central and on the app central i do have a lot of apps that i can choose as you can see right over there but i will share more on the main review but the one that i'll be searching for is the home assistant app now i just need to press install and once it installs the installation basically is done if i go to my desktop i will have the app there which i can move to anywhere i want and then once i press it i can just go and open the browser and go directly to the ip address of that particular home assistant installation and then just do the normal steps my uh, username password and so on and so forth and i can configure one of the things that you can see right over there is that even without the supervisor there are some brands that will automatically get inside the home assistant which is the example of shelly as you guys know i do use a lot of shelly devices here at home for my automatization things and to measure power consumption and also power which was not turned on. I just did change to Grafana, which is the thing that I do use to check out all the graphics and values that I've got on both sides, consumption and production. But that's just to say that Shelly is one of those brands. So if you are using Shelly, for example, for your home automation and you don't require any special things to do on the supervisor side, then you will be more than fine with this installation. As you could see, just great. And I can access this with any device. I can use my phone or tablet. I don't need to use this computer. I just need the Acer Store 3304 on my network. And after that, we can do everything with Home Assistant. The only limitation is the supervisor situation. There is also another way of installing this on the 3304, which is through Docker or Port Trainer. But this is an installation that usually I don't use. There is advantages and disadvantages, but the official guide for the installation will lead us exactly to the same kind of installation that we just did without supervisor options. And that being said, we will will not mention on this particular video. Now let's jump to the 6604 which has a different hardware and if you check the review you will see that although these are two great devices one is a bit better than the other one especially in terms of the CPU and in terms of the virtualization capabilities that it has. Now that being said let's go to the 6604 right over there and we can also do an installation exactly the same as we did for the 3304. So in case you want a 6604 604 but you want a simple installation of home assistant yes you can do it without any issues whatsoever what we need to do is just go to the 
App Central once again, but in this particular case with the 6604. And right over there, besides all the apps that we will find, we have a few more apps on the virtualization area. And the app that we will require is the virtual box, which we will press install. We will also install the extension pack, just press install and that is it. And once it finishes, we can start the virtual box. Now, before we move on, let's go to Google and search for install home assistant now we will go to the home assistant page and you will find a lot of options to download what we want to choose is windows virtualbox vdi and just press it and we will be able to download to our computer once it is on our computer we just need to where it says file explorer and right there just choose where we want to place this image that we just downloaded and we want to place it on our network attached storage solution we just need to select which folder i did create a folder as an example right over there so just keep things organized and once we have the folder just upload the file to the nash and that is it once we have done that i can go back to the virtual box and i can select to create a new virtual machine just need to change the name and the linux i will leave on linux and the version i will select other linux 64 bits press next and then we will need to choose the amount of ram that we i will put one or two gigabytes but i can decide later if i want to attribute more then we will need to select the storage that we are going to use and we will select existing storage now we just need to search where we did put the image that we have downloaded and uploaded to the nash and once we have selected we just need to create and the machine is created we now just need two more things to make it work really simple now let's go to the machine and press on settings and as you can see on settings we can change the memory amount if i want to attribute more memory so besides doing that, what we really need to do is on where it says motherboard, we will need to enable EEFI and where it says network, we will need to change to bridged adapter and press OK. And that is it. Once we have finished this step, I can press on start the machine and it will boot that machine. The first time it will take a little bit more time, I would say 30 seconds to about one minute and once it finishes we can either use the screen which i didn't use for the tutorial or we can just press right button and see the screen in a bigger size so that i can see the letters and what i will be finding right over there is the ip address that home assistant got now once i do have that ip address i can go to my browser and once i insert that address it will take me to the setup and then i can just create the username and password and that is it i've got my home assistant installed and ready to go now one of the things that i would like to share with you is that i didn't install home assistant for quite some time because my home assistant working great so what i did discover uh, recently is that the newest version does not show the supervisor tab on the left like we did like my installation for example still has the supervisor on the left which i can show you right over here on screen for example i've got the supervisor version right over here but nonetheless we will have the supervisor we just need to search and if we go to configuration we will find it on the configuration if i compare the 66040t with the 33040t you will see a little bit difference on the menu where it says the configuration which is the supervisor and then if we check the version i will find on the 6604 the correct version with the supervisor version and everything working now one of the things that i would like to mention is that for those of you that use a lot of shelly devices like i do use which will help us to have everything working with the energy consumption and automatization and energy production and a lot of stuff then it will be integrated automatically without any kind of add-ons if you use any other devices that need add-ons then probably the advantage will go to this version that we just did on the 66040 which is this one right over here and guys this is it for the guides two different installations of home assistant one a more simple installation the other one a little bit more tricky but nothing special if you follow this guide it will be very easy and the advantage is that you will not be limited without the supervisor while you will be limited without the supervisor on the 33 0. 
for. The best choice will just depend on the way that we use Home Assistant. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Werther George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.